guys, it's over here in today's video, guys. Today I'm going to be showcasing my Lego Ninjago movie customs. That is right, guys. Today's video, that's what I'm doing. And before we get further into the video, I want to credit my good friend on YouTube in my sort of Lego community area, uh, Lego Master 28. Here's a sick fig. I made it. Pretty cool. Uh, I recreated it from his original creation of the sick fig. But anyways, um, I took inspiration mainly from his custom Lego Ninjago movie figs, so I do want to credit him for inspiring me to make this. I took inspiration from that, and yeah, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. Alrighty, guys, so here is the first character and the protagonist for the Lego Ninjago movie, guys. This is Lloyd Garmadon, or as Garmadon pronounces it, Lo Lloyd. So, guys, first off, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick 360, but anyways, guys, um, first off, we have his sword, and that's just a normal silver katana. Lego doesn't make any short swords whatsoever in the Japanese Oriental style, so couldn't really do anything else for that, even though Lloyd does have a real short sword in the movie. So, yeah. Besides that, he does have this golden chain piece stacked up and attached to the end of the, sh of the sword, so he then it simulates the golden tassel piece, and when the chain is sort of bent and folded like that, it does become one piece and become sort of more, sort of more like a, an actual tassel piece, so that's pretty good. Uh, the grinding, sorry about that guys, that's just the stand turning, and yeah guys. So then, his elements that are made up of, it is the, uh, what is it, the deep stone legs, and then he has his kimono, not the golden ninja, but the green ninja kimono torso, and then he has some black arms instead of green arms. And then he has this dot, which I actually took a note card, cut out a circle, and then I took a glue dot. And that's what I use for adhesive and most of my stuff and minifigs and other stuff like that. Put that on there to make sort of like the symbol for Lloyd. And then this is also the Deep Stone Hood, because it is an accent color of black. And the ninja are basically mostly based around black color, as they are supposed to have the actual ninja, but that's what they look like in the movie. And then we have his 2014 to 20 present scene uh, face. So there you go, and then that's the back printing. Go ahead and uh, actually, no, I'm gonna leave his hood off because if you guys did see in the intro clip that I had a like a lineup of hairs. That lineup of hairs meant that each ninja gets their hair. Don't have any other blonde long hair, uh, unfortunately, in my collection of Lego, so I decided to use Lloyd's normal hair, and I think it looks fine. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and move on to the next two ninja. Whoops, sorry guys, I meant the next minifig, which is the sensei, uh, Mr. Jackie Chan. He, he is playing Master Wu in the Lego Ninjago movie. So guys, here we are if you guys do not know what this is already referencing to. This is referencing to the Master short that uh, the Warner Bros. released as just a sort of like a teaser thing. Uh, for the Lego Ninjago movie, and then it's pretty much the chicken and Master Wu competing to be who is the real master at, at uh, Master Wu's temple. So yeah guys, I actually saw this in some layout on a video, I don't remember what video it is, so I would credit them, but unfortunately I don't remember and I cannot find it either, so yeah. But anyways guys, we have that chicken over there, and that chicken is supposed to be the chicken that's competing with Master Wu to see who is the real master, and then that attaches on to uh, Master Wu's back with a backpack bracket in light gray. Closest color to white, they don't make them in white, so that's there. And that's supposed to look like the chicken sort of, you know, like kicking Master Wu in the back. That's why it looks like Master Wu is stumbling. That's why that is there, and I think it looks pretty cool. And then if you can get it right, you can even get his hat at a weird angle so it looks like his hat's about to fall off or something. But yeah guys, that pretty much does it for that little reference right there. And then we go ahead and prop Master Wu back up so that he looks like a real, actual minifigure. Go ahead and turn the hands. There you go. And there you go, guys. We have our Master Wu. Let me go ahead and give you a better 360. Or actually, first off, let's remove the uh, the chicken the chicken backpack. I'm call I call it that because it's a backpack backpack adapter. And then on the stud side, we have a chicken. So it's like a backpack, not for a chicken, but with a chicken on the back. So I guess it would be called the chicken guy. But anyways guys, there you go, we have our Master Wu. Now, he does have sort of a skirt piece because they're supposed to be uh, trying to represent a long cloak piece in the movie. So he does have a long uh, skirt cloth piece and that's just made with some white tape. And I just used some Sharpie to make some crinkling details and continue that pattern right there onto his uh, legs right there. And then if you had seen on the side, 
Uh, I know how to remove Sharpie from actual Lego, but I don't want to draw on Lego because if the Sharpie actually does not come off, then my Lego is not, you know, Lego anymore. It's Lego with Sharpie on. So what I did is I took uh, some rectangle pieces of white tape, I cut them out, uh, stuck them onto his arms, and then drew some lines on his uh, side arms with a Sharpie. And that pretty much just looks like how he is in the movie. He does have some sidearm printing, so there you go, guys. And then this is actually the 2011, or not 2011, but 2012 variation of Wu. And that's it, guys. And I give him a golden conical hat or bamboo hat. Alright, guys, that pretty much does it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the actual ninja. Alrighty, guys, so next off, we have Kai and we have Zane, as they are paired a lot in the actual movie sets. So, there you go, guys. And pretty much what... I have them as is I don't unfortunately have that skybound scabbard in brown from the the parted suits so that stinks oh I didn't know that was gonna get cut off like right there sorry about that but anyways I have that in gold though from the actual skybound suits so I'm using that and then I have Kai's dual melted hood in black and red and that's from the deep stone or skybound suits and then over here guys I actually do not have a uh, I don't have Sky uh, not not Skybound, but Air Jitsu Zane, so I don't have the plain white mask. But I decided to do is I wanted to get that shuriken print on there, so I took some white tape, used a lot of white tape in these customs, uh, taped over the crown, the golden crown piece, and then I drew that on with some Sharpie. I actually had to redo that because I wanted to like add more Sharpie to it, and then I messed up. But then, guys, over here, I wanted to get the blue eyes for Zane. I tried. Lego eyes are super small, and I cannot cut out a piece of tape without getting it stuck to my fingers and not being being able to apply it to the minifigure head. But that's how that's as close as I got. Looks like he's like from a cartoon, or he has glasses or something. But then I taped over the eyes with some blue tape rectangles, and I also put in some black dots for, of course, pupils. And then, what these minifigs are comprised of, as I mentioned before, that uh, Kai has his hood and the shoulder scabbard, but then he has some two silver katanas, as he is featured in the movie, and then Zane has this sort of, uh, uh what is it, so this quiver. And what this quiver is, is just an exo-force hand in black, this T-bar piece in uh, black, and we have this carrot piece in dark brown. So it sort of looks like a quiver, with the arrows being black over there, and then we have the quiver piece, which is just like a wooden piece. And don't have a long bow in black, but I do have one in, in a brown, and I don't think they've made one in black before, so yeah. But anyways, they are comprised of Kai's torso, which is his tournament torso, his yellow arms are switched out with red arms, and it does show his chest over there. I decided to keep it like that originally, but then I decided, hey, that looks kind of weird. So what I decided to do is I decided to take another triangle of, you guessed it, white tape. And then I took some Sharpie, again, to add some wrinkling detail. And he does look like that in the, in the actual uh, official minifig, as he does have a little bit of a white shirt under his red robes. And then he has his Skybound or Deep Stone legs. And Zane has his normal, is actually the uh, 2011 original ninja outfits. That he has that leg from that suit, and then he has his techno robes right there. And I forgot to mention that it is that the quiver is attached on with a brown back tack adapter. And then, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and remove their hoods so I can show you guys their uh, hair. Now, the only hair that I could find for Kai is that hair because I do not have a brown spiky hair that is super spiky. And Zane's hair, you know, the, the actual Zane's hair fits. So yeah, guys, pretty much does it for the video. Not the video, but pretty much does it for this segment. Let's go ahead and move on to the next two ninja. Alrighty, guys, so next up we have, left to right, we have Jay and we have Nia. Now, guys, first off, I have seen a lot of people use Jay's uh, jungle or, not kimono, or Zuken torso for the, the, their uh, Lego Ninjaga movie customs, but I decided to use... Jay's Hand of Time torso because it uh, it is molded in a dark blue and that's the only Jay torso that is molded in dark blue but then the original arms are black so those are popped out and swapped with some dark blue arms and some black hands because you know that's how Jay is he has a fully dark blue torso or at least it's all molded in dark blue so that's there and then he has his little flail whip over here it has a barb and one of these side pieces molded in silver silver chain and then he has this four long bar stick piece or a lightsaber handle piece right there and that can just that's sort of like a flail weapon like so and that's just there 
and then his legs are his skybound slash deep stone legs and so is his hood and Nia's hood they did for some reason they decided to go with a color scheme of black and gray for Nia for some reason so that's what that's what I had to do and so this is Cole's torso Cole's ZX torso Cole's skybound slash Zukin hood uh, let me go ahead and refocus the camera focus camera for me please there we go all right but anyways she has a silver spear, and then this to get this tassel piece, it's like Lloyd's tassel in gold, but then this chain is in black, so, because she does have a black tassel, not a golden tassel, on her silver spear, so that's there. And then, for her, for Cole's ZX torso, I have some gray arms, because that's how she is, and then the hood, there you go. And actually, it's not Nia's face, it's Wild Style's face, and I decided to do that because I saw my good friend Lego Master do it, and I tried making the custom, or my version of the custom, and I put Wild Style's Wild, 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 Wild Style's face on. And I was like, "Hey, that looks more like the movie Nia than well, what's what being the actual Nia." But then let me go ahead and put on the hairs. There you go. That's Nia's hair. I know Nia's hair is supposed to be in black, but I unfortunately do not have that hair mold in black. And Jay's hair is actually his actual hair mold, but in brown because for some reason they decided to give him brown hair in the movie. But anyways, guys, another thing that I do want to point out is that Nia has Cole KX or Kimono Extreme legs, because, you know, it has the gray highlights, but then her skirt piece, as she does have a skirt sort of felt piece in the official minifig, this is actually a, uh, I think it's like a sort of like a skirt piece again, but for Storm from the Clone Troopers in some Clone Trooper battle pack, I can't remember which one, but it works out phenomenally well for this minifig, which, oh, I just hit the lighting, whoops. But anyways, it works out phenomenally well for the minifig, which I'm really happy that it does, and it looks a lot like the official minifig, which is awesome. But yeah, you guys, that pretty much does it for these minifigures. Let's go ahead and move on to the next two. But yeah, he gets his own spotlight now, because, it, you know, I forgot about him, and I was gonna pair him originally with Lloyd, I think, but, you know, forgot about him, wanted to give Lloyd his own spotlight, so now Cole gets his own spotlight, and yeah, what he is comprised of is he is comprised of his Deep Stone slash Skybound legs, and then he also has his Techno torso flipped around so that his Cole emblem is showing, just cause I think it looks better like that than the actual front torso, and then the, uh, his black arms are popped out and swapped with some yellow arms because he does have a sleeveless uniform in the movie, and then he has a Day of the Departed slash uh, what is it? Hands of Time Hood. Oh no, the, all the clear bricks fell off. Let's see if I can grab it by the camera. There we go. But anyways, guys, uh, right there, his hood is because I do not have a hood. I'm not gonna paint a, uh, another, what is it? Cole's, uh, Skybound slash Keepstone Hood in brown. And also, I don't have another one. So, I'm not gonna go out and buy one and paint it brown because I'm not gonna do that. But anyways, because he does have the brown accent color in the movie, but then I decided to go with the day with the day of the departed hood. I think that looks better. And his his uh, hammer is actually made of a different piece. That uh, little bracket piece in the center right there. I do not have the actual bracket piece, so instead I had to go with the one with the ridge in the center, which kind of stinks. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. And uh, not really, but like I couldn't find it. Anyways. Uh, I'm sure I have it, maybe, I don't know. I have the Cole normal face because Cole doesn't have a scar, a ghost scar in the movie, and he just looks fine with his normal hair. There you go, guys. That pretty much does it for the ninja. Let's go ahead and move on to the two protagonists featured, not protagonists, antagonists featured in this showcase. Okay, guys, so down to the last two minifigures of the showcase. I've been wanting to showcase these two minifigures for a while now. I've actually, or no, not this one, but that one. They're both Garmadon, though, from the movie, which is pretty cool, but uh, this this took forever to make, honestly. But, guys, so we have our normal Lord Garmadon from the Lego Ninjago movie, and we also have our jungle variation over here. Wow, I am really proud of this minifig. Again, it took super long to make him, and I'll explain why. So, first off, guys, we originally learned from the set's descriptions of the Lego Ninjago movie that... This is the ultimate weapon, and this is sort of like the Lego Ninjago movie Craggle. And this is actually just a laser pointer. It's like a keychain piece over there. I tried copying it as as much as I could and accurately 
from the reference images of the actual pictures and official images of the Lego Ninjago movie laser pointer, and it does have this uh, laser piece right there, so it looks like it's shooting, and then you can grab onto it like a rocket launcher and go <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's sort of the craggle, and I'm pretty sure that's what the ninja are after in the movie, so yeah, guys, that is that. Go ahead and toss that to the side. Now, guys, what I want to talk about is this guy. This guy, again, took forever, but anyways, uh, he has a silver or a gray, oh, no, I just, yeah, all right. He has a gray butterfly sword, as we are, as he is seen wielding in the Lego Ninjago movie trailer. So that's there, and then, we go ahead and take this off and remove that. This is, act I haven't seen anybody use this. This is, this piece is the 2011 Garmadon, the first Garmadon mini figure we've ever gotten as Ninjago fans. There you go, that's more of the wide piece, and I, uh, to place the bone with a crown piece from the Dark Helmet, or from the Stone Warriors in black, there you go, and that's just a wider piece, and that looks better looking than the uh, smaller silver, or not wider, but thinner piece that a lot of other people use, and that just looks more accurate to the actual movie character, and I think people don't use it because it gets in the way of these shoulder pads, but yeah, and so Garmadon, I don't have the hair for him because we've never seen Garmadon with hair, in the uh, movie, but yeah. But anyways, we have his uh, original Garmadon face because I think it looks fine like that. Now, this piece is what took forever to make. This is a, all one piece made out of entirely purple tape, guys. I had to cut this out, cut the head hole out, keep the two front tassels. I had to keep these two front tassels as proportionally sized as I could and make them even and looking the same on both sides so that's there and then i have to make this huge cape which actually looks really nice and yeah also this is the stone warrior this huge stone warrior body from the Criterion prison breakout set and he has white arms i popped out the white arms and that was easy but then getting in the black arms was super hard as you can see there i even had to dent the brick or not the brick but the arm piece that really stunk but I was able to get it in, and I had to use pliers for that. But yeah. Anyways, go ahead and move his hand aside. Um, you can see there how nice the, the purple cape looks, as he is seen using that. And actually, it's not really purple. I looked again as soon as I finished this, and it turns out it's dark blue, but I don't have dark blue tape. Purple works the best. But yeah, guys. And then he has his normal garment on torso. And he has the 2012 to 2014, or not 2014, 2012 to 2013 legs. And the original 2011 Garmadon did not have printing on legs, but 2012 to 2013 Garmadon did. And then uh, for our jungle variation of Garmadon, he is pretty much the exact same thing, except uh, I've seen people use the conical hat or the bamboo hat in just normal tan, light tan color for his hat, but, you know, I don't think that looks very good at crystal, in my, personally, in my opinion, so I decided to use this brown dish piece instead, and I think that looks a lot better, as it is sort of the thick and wider hat that they do give in the Lego Ninja movie to a lot of the citizens in that, in those sets. And then, again, we have the normal garment on head, again, with the normal torso, the double body torso, the legs, and the torso... And, the, yeah, pretty much. First torso and second torso. And then he also has four katanas, because that is what he is seen with. Now, I could have used... Originally, I wanted to use the Crux and Acronix green cape piece. But then again, I wanted to make it look more custom. And this also works better, because it's only one flap, and you don't have to fold it to put it over the head. And I think that looks a lot better. I pretty much doubled up some pieces of green tape and slipped that over, made the head hole, and then, yeah, slipped it over his head, and there you go, guys. That is my jungle variation of Garmadon, and I think all of these minifigs turned out really well. So, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Please do let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see next with the Lego Ninjago Movie Customs. I can make a stop motion, I can do more customs, I don't know. But please do let me know, guys. So yeah, please do hit that like and subscribe button for some more fresh content on my channel. If you enjoyed today's video, again, please leave a suggestion if you want, if you have a suggestion, or if you did like today's video. Love to hear if you did in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, 
Thanks for tuning in. This is Brick Filmer signing out. Peace out, guys.